Welcome to my mob. It's your girl, Summer Toy Twins. I'm Maya. And I'm Micah. It's Who Day. We are back with another TikTok food hack, but this time it's healthy alternatives. Yes. Not alternatives, just healthy food. Snacks and meals. <laughs> I picked out one. I picked out all of the rest. Because who does the research? Well, I had three, but she picked so many and we already know this is gonna be like a 40 minute video. We're gonna jump right on into this. So the first thing we're gonna be showing you guys is this yogurt bark. I don't know how this is necessarily healthy because it is yogurt. Um, I feel like you could use Greek yogurt. Me and Maya have gotten to the point where we now like Greek yogurt. Used to hate it, love it now. But yeah, this is it. Yeah, if this is healthy, why is she using yogurt? I don't know, but I saw it as an excuse to have yogurt in the house. But we've um, been on like our gym grind. But this is healthy. It's gogurt. So we got gogurt, strawberry, and mixed berry flavored, of course. And then we got some granola and goji berries. So I think you could top this with honestly anything you want. But yeah, we're just gonna spread it out on a pan, pop it in the freezer, and it'll be ready for us to eat tomorrow morning. I love goji berries. I've never had them. They're a little hard and a little chewy, but they're really good. I put them in my parfaits in the morning. Fancy. Yup. Quaker. The unhealthy gogurt. Granola. Goji berries. Parchment paper. Ooh, and a pan. Everybody clap your cheeks at the same time. Everybody clap your cheeks at the same time. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Oh, I was gonna do. I'm gonna sleep because of y'all. Be original. Mm. So everybody clap your cheeks at the same time. Everybody clap your cheeks at the same time. It's giving um squirrels in my pants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry if every single clip is at a different angle. Maya keeps changing her mind of where she wants the camera. Well, there's some clips where you have to have it close to our face, like the intro, and then there's clips where you got to see what we're doing. This is when you're seeing what we're doing. I am speaking up. No, you're talking so quiet. Every day you yell, and then the one time you need to be loud, you're quiet. lot longer. Yeah, what the heck is that? This is so tiny. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is line a tray with parchment paper. Tray. tray. I was like a tray. tray. Oh, look at this one. Ooh. It's pretty. A serving size is three tubes. They're 50 calories. These are two. 50 calories a tube. So you can have three of these for 150 calories. They actually might be okay to eat. It's your play. So once you have your parchment paper down, you want to open up all your bags of yogurt and gogurt. Sorry. Open up all your tubes of gogurt and you're just gonna freaking go ham on the tray and make a rectangle. Just squirt like this until it turns into a rectangle. That is so tiny, Maya. I never saw gogurt as yogurt. I know, I thought it was like a way unhealthier version. <laughs> <laughs> I think four is enough. Like all the strawberries in the middle and the mixed berry on the outside. This looks so cool. It's all tie dye. <gasps> oh, wait, I'm so. Maya! <laughs> Stop! You can see this is strawberry and this is mixed berry. Like, that's strawberry because <laughs> it switches colors. Okay, this is when you can get fun with it. But we're just gonna follow the TikTok. So we got goji berries. Goji berries are an excellent source of vitamin A. Here, you wanna try one? They're like kind of hard. These are goji they berries. Like raisins. They're really sweet. They're super foods. Okay, so I decided to use the cereal that I eat. It's granola type cereal. It also has almost raisins in it. So that's also gonna be on this. But you can also put fruit on this, huh? You can put anything you want. You do chocolate chips. It's not even granola, it's just oats. This is granola, but it's not clusters. Granola well, is clusters. Those are clustered granolas. Micah, all granola is oats. Yeah, but granola is clusters of oats. Well, the back says granola. There she is. She looks so pretty and girly looking. So we're gonna pop this bad boy in the freezer overnight and we'll try it in the morning. All right, so it's the day of us uploading this video. I'm about to actually upload it right now. We forgot to try the yogurt bark. So it's been sitting in our freezer for about five days now. It's probably freezer burnt. Also, Mike let it sit out while we were supposed to film this. So now it's yogurt again. <laughs> So I'm just gonna like dip my finger in it. It's just gonna be gogurt with the goji berries and stuff. The goji berries are soggy. So is the granola. <laughs> it's like a parfait. 
It would just be frozen. I mean, we didn't give it its full potential, so I feel like it would have been good because it tastes good like this. Still try it. Still try it. Way to kick <laughs> off the video. I promise you, we tried everything else. You let us know how it is. Okay, this next one's the one I've picked out, and it's the healthy version of pasta. I feel like pasta is already healthy because it's like carbs or whatever, but this one's like if you're vegan, vegetarian, vegan. Which ones don't eat pasta, mama? Who doesn't eat pasta? Hmm. Maybe it's people that don't eat gluten. I don't know. I feel like there's some people that- Gluten free people probably don't eat pasta. Anyway. Ignore what I said. If you rather eat veggie pasta than regular pasta, then this is what you gotta do. Which I don't know actually because you still have to use flour. So we have flour, cauliflower rice. If you guys have never tried cauliflower rice, go try it. It's so good. And your favorite pasta sauce. I got some vodka sauce. And then you're also gonna need an air fryer, which if you don't have one, heck are you doing this thing comes in handy oh here's a tiktok so basically what we're gonna do is just warm up our cauliflower rice mix in some flour make it into like a dough almost pop it in the fryer pour whatever seasoning sauce and cheese you want on top okay it took about three minutes our cauliflower is ready and our pasta sauce i just did it in the microwave really quick because we don't got time we're gonna take our cauliflower rice and put it in the bowl careful because it's hot a lot in one bag. She didn't give any measurements to this recipe. She just said pour by the heart. So those are gonna be some small measurements. You didn't get the juice. No, I got it. Just ignore me. <gasps> no, I'm biggie. I'm gonna go with two big spoonfuls of flour. You wanna fold this with your hands? Huh? You gotta mash it to make a dough. I don't think this is gonna work. It has to. She did it. <laughs> it's kind of mushing that together. And then what, do you just rip it up into little balls? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to use your hands, but it's so hot. <laughs> what? I thought you were trying to say hard, and you said so hot. <laughs> it even smells like dough. It's working. It is. Now that we have our dough, we've got to roll it into balls and put it in the air fryer. Come on, Micah. It's really sticky. I probably could have added a little more flour. We should have opened this first. I don't know how I feel about like a bunch of balls as my pasta. I guess you can make these into any shapes you want though, but. Okay, you can have a bigger ball than that, Michael. Are you saying my balls are smaller than yours? Yeah, they're pea size. It's so sticky. Look at that, a mess. Why is it burning my finger? Okay, a little more flour next. <laughs> okay, next we put the cauliflower in the air fryer. She said 400 degrees for 14 minutes. Our recipe. They're all colliding. Our recipe didn't make as many as hers, but you could easily just warm up another bag of cauliflower rice and make more balls. Do you think it's gonna be good? I mean, I licked the dough off my fingers and it tastes like cauliflower, so yes. 14 minutes. All right, so our cauliflower, rice, balls, or pasta, whatever you wanna call them, are done. I warmed up our vodka sauce. I put some cayenne pepper and garlic powder in it. She grilled up like onions and stuff, but I was like, we don't even know if it's gonna be good to do all that. So I didn't do no onions. I do have some mozzarella cheese. She used Parmesan. And then we like to add even more cayenne and crushed red pepper onto our pasta. So that's what we have. Let's see how our balls look. They look a little crusty. They look like monkey balls. They do. You guys don't want monkey balls. Are there a type of, I guess you say sushi, mom? Yeah. It's fried sushi and it's really good. Here's what they look like. They're solid. You could just eat them like this if you wanted to. They don't look like pasta. This would be a good alternative to meatballs if you don't like meat. It's really mushy, but it's crispy on the outside. This would be a good like side, not a whole meal. This is not a lot, I don't think. Hey Maya, what are we having for dinner? Oh, I'm make us some pasta. But then she handed me some dough balls. Yeah, this would not fill you up, I don't think. <laughs> Do you want to add the sauce, Micah? I think it's gonna be good. I hope it's good. More, more, more. Micah's not making it look pretty. It already came out not looking pretty. <laughs> but they look fine. I'm a sucker for cheese. This is fat-free mozzarella. I love sharp shredded cheese and mozzarella cheese. The final result. I'm excited to try it. Dig in. <laughs> it deflated us. It did. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was hot. It was hot. Mmm. It's good. It needs more kind of. This would be good with chicken. Mm-hmm. Much better than it looked. I would probably even season the cauliflower before making it into the balls. Maybe put like some pepper or salt in it. Because cauliflower is pretty plain. I'm not mad about it. It's actually really good. It's good. Especially with the cayenne because it makes it like spicy. Spicy, <gasps> That's how you know it's spicy, I have hiccups. I give this one a 10 out of 10, honestly. You didn't have to cook anything because you microwaved the sauce and the cauliflower. And then you just put it in the air fryer for 14 minutes. It's really, really good. Oh my gosh, y'all try it. 10 I out of like 10. It.
I think this is my favorite one so far. <laughs> they're only getting better. This is the best TikTok food hack one we've had so far. And they're the healthiest and the fastest. Okay, mom, you have to try this. Yeah. Okay, this next one is super, super easy. You literally only need two ingredients. We got frozen blueberries and unsweet vanilla almond milk. You just need some type of almond milk. Doesn't matter, but this is the one we got. This is supposed to be like a blueberry slush. So all you have to do is place your frozen blueberries in a bowl, pour a little bit of almond milk, like some cereal, and mash it up and it'll become like a blueberry slush. Ew. What? I feel like it's gonna be plain. You could add like honey or something to it. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of blueberries. I like them here recently. Okay, that's a, that's a lot. When do you think these blueberries were picked? Because they've been frozen. How long do you think it's been? Comment down below. <laughs> like I've had too much milk. Oh. Uh... I did it wrong. <laughs> I think I let the blueberries sit out too long and they're not frozen enough. <laughs> Mine's frozen, look at that. Okay, yours will work then. I put too much milk in mine. Like I could tell it's kind of working, but it's way too soupy. All my blueberries were stuck together. Okay, mine kind of did it. It like made the blueberries. Can y'all see that? Like have little icicles on them, I guess. I feel like you could just get almond milk blueberries and ice and then make it a bowl, like an acai bowl. That too. But it's good. Ooh, it's refreshing. I think it'd be really good with honey. This is like when they made the nature's cereal on TikTok with the coconut water and the ice. That was pretty good though. It's a little better with mm. honey. Mmm. I like it better with the honey. Kind of turns it into like the frozen honey trends that's going around too. Ooh, 10 times better with the honey. I like it better with the honey. It's not as bitter or tart. Okay, on a scale from 1 to 10, what do you rate it? 1 to 10? 10, 10 mm -hmm. being the bomb? Yeah. I'll give it a 7. I'll give it a 7 too. Honestly, if I was craving like ice cream or something, mm. and we didn't have like ice cream at the house, I'd probably eat this. You could do this with any frozen fruit then, right? I feel like. Hmm. Not bad. For this next food hack, you're gonna need cucumbers, we got a mini cream cheese, everything bagel seasoning, and sriracha. Sarah Hachai. <laughs> so this one's also a fairly simple one. It's pretty similar to the cucumber, cream cheese, and like turkey sandwiches that we eat. But this one is just cucumbers smothered with cream cheese and topped with everything bagel seasoning and sriracha. <gasps> These are all really self-explanatory, but we're just here to tell you guys if they're worth making a trip to the grocery store or not. Well, hence why they're healthy food hacks, because they're fast and healthy. Okay, so Maya's chopping up the cucumbers. I'm gonna take some cream cheese and spread it all over the cucumbers. I love me some cream cheese. I would put turkey meat on these so how you already eat cucumbers. One thing about these, there's just no making them look cute. You just gotta get the cream cheese on there. I noticed if you put like a big chunk, <gasps> you put a big chunk and just press down and then go from side to side instead of trying to actually smear it on the cucumber. Yeah. I don't know how the sriracha is gonna taste on this. That's what I was debating too, but everyone in the comments was like, sriracha on everything. <laughs> <gasps> My god. Now that we have our cucumbers covered in cream cheese. Say that three times fast. What? Cucumbers covered in cream cheese. 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 Frick. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna do the sriracha. Wait. Do you wanna do the sriracha? Like, we could do half and half. It's not that serious. It is. Or else you wouldn't be fighting with me about it. Mine are gonna turn out prettier. This is like healthy sushi. Like a crime scene. Now, I love me some sriracha, but I'm still trying to get used to everything bagel seasoning. It's a bit too salty for me. It is a little bit salty, but I like it. Da -da -da. Cucumber, cream cheese, sriracha, everything bagel seasoning, cucumbers. When mom says we have sushi at home, this is the sushi at home. Ready? Let's try. This is like little tea party snacks. It tastes like a sushi roll. Mm -hmm. I mean, they put cucumber, sriracha, and cream cheese in sushi. So, yeah, we're just missing the fish. You're fish in the rice. 10 out of 10. I give it a 10 out of 10 as well. The cream cheese, I know, isn't necessarily healthy for you. Maybe we should have gotten whipped cream cheese, so it'd be a little healthy. You know, she did use vegan cream cheese. But I was not going to test that out. <laughs> what if that's what made it healthier? I mean, I'm sure it plays a role in it, yes. But I love cream cheese. Next one. Here, 
Okay, this next one is a fairly big meal, which I'm super excited for. This is an anabolic water burger buffalo ranch chicken strip sandwich. Water burger? Yeah, like water burger. I guess they have a buffalo chicken. Oh, ranch sandwich. I'm like, water? I was like, what are you talking about? I thought you mixed water in the red hot. What a burger. Ugh. Okay, y'all can argue in the comments, my fellow Texans, do y'all say Whataburger or Whataburger? We all say Whataburger. I didn't know we were doing a remake of a Whataburger. Yeah, burger. it's the anabolic version. So all you need for this is Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. She used white bread, but we actually have wheat bread, which um, is healthier. Yeah, it's healthier, so can't go wrong there. And then you're gonna need some ranch seasoning dressing. Wait, some ranch dressing seasoning, some Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, non-fat if you will, some provolone cheese, provolone cheese, and some Tyson chicken strips. <laughs> so this one is also fairly simple to make. We're gonna stick them chicken tenders in the air fryer for 12 minutes. I think two per sandwich is what she used. And while those are cooking, we're gonna toast some bread and then slap some cheese on it to let it melt a little bit. And then we pour a little bit, she didn't say how much. We pour a little bit of the ranch seasoning into this Greek yogurt cup and mix it up. That's it. Okay, let's get started. If you haven't realized by now, go get an air fryer. For real. Not sponsored at all. I don't even know what company this is. Just heat up a bunch of chicken strips. So I might use some. You said two per sandwich, right? Mm -hmm. Are we rationing over here? Why are you me up? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a nugget. Not more? This is a nugget, not a tender. These are all nuggets. What the heck? Okay, y'all ignore the oven being on. We're multitasking right now. Maya just popped two slices of wheat bread in the toaster. And then we're gonna pop the other two because we're making a sandwich each for ourselves. And while that is heating up, I'm gonna take the ranch seasoning and the Greek yogurt and mix it up. Now for this part, she didn't give specific measurements as to how much seasoning you put in the Greek yogurt. So I'm just gonna eyeball this entirely. Our tendies are done. It smells like sour cream and onion dip. Ew, what if people just ate it like that by itself? I feel like the Greek yogurt's gonna make it sweet. Well, ranch is already gonna take away the spice of the buffalo sauce. Do you have to mix the buffalo sauce in that? No, we coat the chicken tenders in it. <gasps> oh my gosh, the bread was burning. Okay, when the toast comes out, you gotta put your cheese on. I don't know if I've ever had this kind of cheese. I stuck the cheese in between the two pieces of toast so that it'll be hot and sandwiched, you know, so it'll melt. I put my tenders in a bowl. Now I'm taking my Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce, cause I put that on everything. And I'm gonna coat the tenders in the sauce. Mm. Ew! what the heck? It's the blue bowl that's making it look like that, y'all. You gonna cut up the chicken tenders. Sorry. Oh, okay, our chicken sandwiches are ready to be put together. Just get your cheese made. <laughs> I look like plastic. Okay, so we got our provolone and then provolone, provolone cheese on our toasted bread. Now we're gonna take our chicken strips and put them on to the sandwich. <laughs> Making my mouth water. Frank's hot sauce is good if you want something tasty and not spicy. Next, we're gonna take our Greek yogurt ranch dressing. Kind of iffy about this. I feel like it's gonna ruin the sandwich. So we're gonna put it on top. Uh. It smells like ranch dressing. These are duty sandwiches. Our what? Dookie sandwiches. I wanted to say doo doo or dookie. Don't hate on it. It just looks not appetizing. Neither did your dough balls and how those turn out. Exactly. So be optimistic. I'm so excited. It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't see this as healthy though. Like none of it. The girl that made it was slim thicky. And she says she lost 60 pounds eating this. That's the crazy thing. It's like bodybuilders make that anabolic French toast every morning. And I'm like, that's crazy because you know how much bread they're consuming just in a week. Mm. Cause they probably eat four slices in the morning. So it's crazy to me that a lot of fit people eat so much bread. So good. This is really good. I feel like it needs lettuce and onion. Best believe I'm gonna finish this off camera. 10 out of 10. Literally 10 out of 10. Maybe a 12 out of 10. It just went above the cauliflower balls. Did it? Barely. They're right here, but the buffalo sandwich is right here. Just because it's chicken and I already know this is more filling for me. Doesn't take away at all from the balls. I still love the balls. 10 out of 10. Make it right now. It's good. Really, really good. 
Ignore the oven, y'all. We're multitasking and we have to preheat the oven for this next one. You can also use an air fryer as well or like a toaster oven, a conventional oven, wherever your heart desires. But we got the oven going because that's what she did. So these are gonna be a mini three ingredient pizzas. Now everyone in the comment section were dragging this poor girl for calling these pizzas because apparently it's not pizza unless there's dough, which I agree, but I don't know how else you would describe these. You could substitute it with the cauliflower rice and the flour. If you wanted an actual pizza, correct. But all you need for this one is some zucchini, fat-free mozzarella shredded cheese, tomato paste, and she didn't use this, but I figured it would be good. We got some turkey pepperoni. You can eat 17 slices of these and they're only 70 calories. We go through these bags so fast because if you're craving something, Turkey pepperoni. It really irks me when people don't peel these, but Micah said she didn't peel them, so we're not gonna peel them. All you gotta do is cut the tops and bottoms off the zucchinis, and then you're gonna slice them up how we did the cucumbers, and place them on a tray with parchment paper. The only thing I'm iffy about these is that you only put them in the oven until the cheese melts, but I feel like I would want the zucchini to be kinda soft, you know? So I feel like by the time the cheese melts, they're not gonna be in the oven long enough for them to be soft. So maybe you put them in the oven for like a few minutes and then pull them out, put cheese on top. Or just put the cheese on top after. These are also really cheap hacks because tomato paste is like 70 cents. A zucchini is probably like a dollar and then cheese is not expensive at all either. Okay, we got our tomato paste smothered on all of our zucchini. This honestly makes a lot. We have a lot of zucchini left over. I feel like you'd only have to use one depending on how many of you guys are eating this. But this is a lot if you ask me. I completely forgot she also used rosemary, I believe it was and sprinkled it on top, but we're not rosemary gals, so we're skipping that part today. We're doing our own thing on all this. Come on, throw it away. But we're putting our turkey pepperoni on them right now. We might not have enough yeah. of these. I already went through my pack. Okay, there's no more turkey pepperoni. We just bought these this week. I said we put the cheese on, like, let's put them for a little bit. You want to do half with the yeah. cheese? Because I don't want it to, like, burn the cheese in the oven. There's vegan cheese, and I was tempted to get it, but then I was like, we're gonna put some with cheese on it right now how she did it and then pop it in the oven and then leave some without and let them heat up a little bit and then put cheese on them honestly don't think it's gonna do anything different but Maya wants to test the theory just so that way the cheese isn't like so melted here are our zucchinis <laughs> So we're gonna pop these bad boys in the oven. She didn't give us no set time, no set temperature, nothing. She said just stick them in the oven until the cheese melts. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, these ones are the ugliest ones so far. <laughs> it smells good though. Okay, note to self, just put the cheese on when it goes in the oven because I thought it was gonna be all crispy and burnt, but it looks fine to me. I told you. Trial and error. I mean, I watched the TikTok. I saw what it looked like when she pulled them out. So we just pulled these out the oven. They're not cute at all. <laughs> Maybe if you plate them, I don't know. The cheese is just everywhere. But I think they're too hot to try right now. Definitely too hot to try right now. We'll be back when they cool down. I was right, it's still melted either way afterwards. So put the cheese on before or after, it's up to you. I think the before one's really better. They're gonna taste the same. Let's try. Ah. I want one with pepperoni. Or should we try one without first? Because that's how she made it. Okay, the cheese is a little crusted. But if it didn't get on the zucchini and it was just like on the pan, it's crusty. These ones are funky. Okay. I think it tastes like pizza bites. Well, it could taste like a pizza roll. I'm not mad at it. I don't know why everyone was giving her a hard time. Because it's not pizza. I think it needs crushed red pepper. So I think that's the point. It's supposed to be an alternative for pizza. And I think she did just that. Okay, now we're going to try the ones with pepperoni. And some crushed red pepper. Oh my god. Did you hear that? Mm hmm Oh my god. The ones without pepperoni taste exactly the same as the ones with pepperoni. They taste better. I mean, they taste better because of pepperoni, but... No, the ones without pepperoni taste better. Oh, you think so? I think they taste the same. Mm -hmm. I think this is a great snack, and you should try it. I think this is my least favorite of all of them so far, though. I give it a 7 out of 10. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Well, the other ones that I gave a 7, then, deserve an 8. Which ones did we give a 7? The sriracha? I think so. Yeah, I those remember. deserve, like, a 9 now, because we just had more off-camera. <laughs> but yeah, these are my least favorite favorite though. It depends what you're craving because like the blueberries and these are right next to each other. But if I was wanting something refreshing, I'd want the blueberries. <laughs> How dare you talk about my blueberries like that? Martha. 
Mama wasn't too crazy about these ones, but they're not bad. Try them. I like them. If you're craving pizza, but you don't want to give in and order a pizza, just make these. They really taste like pizza rolls. The texture is just different. That's it for this week's video, guys. Overall, everything we made today did not take long at all. It was pretty much cheap and healthy for you. And very, very good. I would say try all of these. There's not one that I do not recommend. There's something for everybody, whether you like sweet or salty, savory, whatever. My favorite would definitely have to be the buffalo chicken sandwich the pasta balls and the cucumber sriracha everything bagel seasoning yeah stuff. <laughs> that's exactly my top three too but everything was muy bueno this was our best tiktok food hack yet our healthiest food tiktok hack yet and our favorite tiktok food hack yet because <laughs> everything tasted good I really also liked the blueberry almond milk one. One, it was super simple, quick and easy. And two, I let it sit a little bit longer with the honey in it and it got really sweet. And so it was very delicious. Highly recommend. This week's post notification shout out goes to Don Draws. Thank you, Don, for liking this video, commenting tacos down below, subscribing to our channel, and following my girls on IG and Switch. If you want a post notification shout out in the next week's video, all you have to do is everything Don Draws did. Also, shout out to Don because because he is an insane artist. Yes. And he's done so many pieces of us and me. And he's crazy talented. And we know of Don because he's on our Twitch streams. Pretty much every single stream. Guys, we're genuinely friends with our stream community. So if you're not on the Twitch streams, go join. You're missing Get out. on that. Also, VidCon got canceled in case you guys didn't know. Let us know if you guys try these out. Tag us on Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case may be. I want to see if y'all try them and see what y'all think. But without further ado. Do. Adios amigos. And as always, stay beautiful, my loves. Mwah.